Hi, welcome back to the Surrey Watch Guy everyone. I'm Dan and today I'm going to be chatting about the new release from Panerai, the Luminor Marina Gilom Neri Limited Edition. But before all of that, quick wrist check. Amiga Planet Ocean Liquid Metal Limited Edition today. Looking very shiny. Panerai first unveiled the Luminor to the world in 1993 aboard the Italian warship, the Duran della Pen. This was Panerai's first attempt at selling their watches to the general public, having previously been a military contractor to the Italian Navy. These amphibious commandos were known as Decima Flotiglia Mezzi de Salto, or in English, 10th Assault Vehicle Flotilla. These frogmen went to war wearing Panerai watches and other instruments made by the brand. During operations, they rode manned torpedoes and placed limpet mines on enemy ships and sank many. This saw Panerai sewed into Italian military history. The rest, as they say, is history. Before being offered to the public, Luminor referred to a type of paint that Panerai pioneered and used on their dials. This was much safer than the paint used previously, which was called Radiomere, whose use was terminated due to scientific awareness of the dangers that gamma radiation posed to the wearer. Luminor is now used as a name of a collection of watches that feature the classic cushion-shaped case, integrated lugs and instantly recognisable crown protector. Offered in a myriad of sizes, dial designs and materials, there's a Luminor literally for everyone. As 2021 marks the 70th anniversary of the special Luminor named Tritium paint that Panerai developed and patented, they've released this stunning watch, which is actually also, funnily enough, a limited edition of 70 pieces. The Luminor Marina 44mm Gilom Neri edition is the second collaboration with the freediving former world champion. Back in 2019, Panerai released two models under their submersible line, both 47mm in case diameter, with titanium cases with dials telling hours, minutes, small seconds and a flyback chronograph. A lot going on for a dive watch, I think you'll agree. Before we get into the specifics, here's a quick breakdown of the dimensions. It features a 44mm case, which is 53.5mm lug to lug. It's 16.2mm thick and it has a lug width of 24 millimetres. Panerai are well known for pushing the technological envelope with their use of exotic materials and finishes, and this watch is no exception. The 44 mil case is sandblasted DMLS titanium, which stands for direct metal laser sintering. It's a 3D process of how they cut the metal and gives an amazing finish. This gives the watch a very stealthy tool look and looks very modern indeed. It's dark and matte and evokes thoughts of nighttime excursions into hostile environments. The bezel, crown protector and bridge lever are coated with a rubber coating that adds some extra visual interest to the matte case. However, long term, will the rubber get damaged? I don't know, remains to be seen, but it does look nice. The dial is the famous Panerai sandwich style, whereby they use a disc with luminous material and place it beneath the top disc, which has laser cut numerals and hour markers, and then they're sandwiched together. The dial is also matte, so that also complements the case. It starts off black at the edges and very gently fades to a lighter greyish black as your eyes are drawn to the center. Looks really cool. The Super Luminova, is bright white and really pops against the darker dial elements. However, when it's dark, it glows with a green colour. You have the small seconds at 9 o'clock and the date complication at 3 o'clock. Personally, I would have preferred the date to have not been there at all and to have a free Arabic numeral instead, which have just added a bit more symmetry to the dial, but that's just my personal preference. The hour and minute hands are classic Panerai baton style with sword-shaped tips and are also coated in the same bright white Super Luminova. Telling the time with this watch will be an absolute doddle any time of the day or night for that matter. Covering the matte dial is an accentuated convex sapphire crystal which adds yet more visual interest to the dial features. 
I really like these curved crystals. They make everything distort on the dial depending at the angle that you're looking at them and also make for amazing photos too. The watch is water resistant to 300 meters and features a 12 sided screwed case back that's engraved with the signature of Guillaume Neri and a silhouette of him free diving. It's a bit of a novelty, but it seems more fitting than, say, a sapphire exhibition case back. It gives it a really nice tool look. However, the 70-year warranty stamp looks a little cheap, if I'm honest. Powering the watch is Panerai's Calibre P.9010 in-house movement. It's just 6mm thick and made up of 200 parts. It features a 72-hour power reserve and has 31 joules. The P.9010 also features a quick adjust hour hand that goes forward or backward without having to stop the running seconds hand. Very handy if you're travelling between time zones and need to change the time without losing any accuracy. Lastly, it beats at 28,800 beats per hour. The watch is presented on a textured black strap that's been manufactured from recycled plastic, which is a really nice touch due to all the plastic pollution that's in the ocean currently. Being a luminor, changing the strap is super easy as it uses screws rather than a spring bar. So all you need is a very small screwdriver and Bob's your uncle, straps changed in seconds and no scratch lugs. The Gillam Neri limited edition is priced at 18,900 US dollars. You do get a truly unprecedented 70 year warranty and you can only buy it from a Panerai boutique, not online, not anywhere else. It's by no means a cheap watch, but you get a watch made of absolutely cutting edge materials with an iconic case that's been contemporary finished with a decent power reserve, and it's a super limited edition too. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see future videos, maybe subscribe. Don't forget to click the bell icon so you get notifications when a new video drops. I'm also over on Instagram, so give me a follow. Thanks, see you next time.